This is transfer from Dyn standard DNS to Oracle Cloud Infrastructure DNS. And the steps for manage would be the same. The only caveat is that you would get your zone file from Dyn.com um, through V reports instead of, and that would be through your Dyn ID versus the account.dyn.com, which you have uh, for your standard and dynamic DNS. And to note, the uh, Dyn is not a domain registrar. They did offer that service in the past. This was sold off in 2019, and all the domains that Dyn did have registered were transferred away by December of 2019. So there are no new signups for managed DNS or email delivery, and they are being discontinued May 31st, 2023. However, Dyn is keeping both standard DNS and dynamic DNS with both local and remote access. Both of them have dynamic functionality. Dynamic DNS is not supported in an OCI. OCI is optimized as a DNS provider for static IP addresses. So you can uh, my so your domain registrar to use Dyn, you're gonna need to have a domain registrar since like I said, Dyn doesn't offer this since 2019, whether that's Hover, GoDaddy, or any of the other domain registrars out there. I am currently using GoDaddy, and here are my default name servers, which the name servers just map the IP addresses to your DNS provider. So you can see now that Go GoDaddy is currently my domain registrar and my DNS provider. So let's change it to where GoDaddy is my domain registrar and Dyn is my DNS provider. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna go to our account.dyn.com, which is where standard DNS and dynamic DNS both reside. And like I said, for both email delivery and managed DNS, you're gonna have to use your Dyn ID and log in through a different portal. And the steps are the same for migrating those, for migrating managed DNS, um, except you do it through a different portal. So we're gonna change, enter our name servers advanced, and what we're just gonna, a minimum of two required, but we're just gonna move all four. Yes, consent. And it's successful, and let's refresh the page. And you're gonna see that none of the DNS records are there because they're all managed and dying now. Um, okay, let's refresh it one more time. So now you see our dying uh, name ser four name servers here. No records are displayed here because it's like I said, it's reg our Dyn is our DNS provider and go with GoDaddy is our domain registrar. Um, so now that's not now we're primed to migrate it from sta Dyn standard DNS to OCI DNS. So what are we going to do? We are going to go here and we're going to export our zone. Um, which I have already done because it takes a minute for the zone so file to be created in OCI. So what you're going to do is you're gonna, going to, uh, yeah, I'll pause the video and enter my login details real quick. Okay, so we're in our Dyn account. So you want to go to services overview here in the top menu. And we're using Frosted Flake 70598.info. And to note, this must be registered in your domain registrar before doing this. And like I said, these are the four name servers that we migrated over um, to GoDaddy to um, dictate that Dyn is our DNS provider. And now we are going to export our zone file. So we'll click 
the zone we want. Click export zone. And then we are going to go to our OCI account, go to networking, DNS management zones, you can pin it like I have. And you're gonna wanna click create zone and wanna do the import method. And you're just gonna wanna uh, select the file that you want. I suggest importing it versus pasting it because white space does matter. And it will, this button, this, um, this uh, hexagon right here will be creating for a minute or so before it turns green and you see it active here. And here are four name services generated by OCI that we are going to displace our Dyn um, name servers with. And you are not going to want to include the period at the end. And I would recommend doing this in the incognito browser to circumvent um, any uh, any caching issues. So we'll input it here, and we're just gonna we're just gonna go back and forth, copy and pasting them. And if you leave it like this, um, you can save it. Yes, consent. And if you refresh the page one more time, we need to do it two times from GoDaddy apparently. And if you leave it like this with both the Dyne and Oracle Cloud name series here, it will round robin it back and forth between both DNS providers. Um, and you don't really want that because uh, it can cause issues. So we're going to remove the Dyne name service. And now, refresh the page. We're probably going to have to do it again. And now our zone is delegated to Oracle Cloud. So now Oracle Cloud is our DNS provider instead of Don. Um, and if you have a different domain registrar, you will just change the name servers there, whether it's Hover, etc. Uh, and then afterwards, you are going to want to cancel your Dyn standard DNS service. But please allow 48 hours for full propagation to complete before canceling your existing Dyn standard DNS service. Um, and that is a wrap.